So um, that's what we love to do. We just love to see God speak through art. And um, so Roxanne is just going to share what she feels like God has um, spoken through this and who it's for this morning. Um, so when I first started painting it, I felt like it was your heart, um, whoever this is for, um, and that um, your heart's coming alive and it's beating. And what's making it beat is, is Jesus, the top of the heart, and this cross. Um, and the things that were holding you back from intimacy with him is um, like the veil's torn. You don't have to hold on to those things anymore. And um, so that's why it's yellow on the other side. It's pushing away the stuff. But also, um, I felt like it's Jesus' heart, and his heart is beating for you. And um, yeah, <laughs> um, victory is yours. <laughs> so um, I don't remember her name. I just met you. I don't remember your name. Yeah, Lillian, I feel like this is for you. So let's just, um, as a sign, just extend your hands over just to agree with the word that Roxanne just spoke, and we'll just pray over that. So, Father, we thank you for Lillian, and we thank you for her heart coming alive, coming alive in you, Jesus. And, Jesus, I thank you that you're the one that's breathing life, and you're the one that's reaching in. And so we just agree with your heart for Lillian, and we thank you that the veil is torn, that there's no more distance between you and her. And so we just agree with her desires, Father. I thank you the desires of her heart, Father, are becoming your desires. And so I just agree with that right now and pray for an increase, Lord, of favor on her life, Father, an increase of being seen, Father, that the doors that need to be open, God, I thank you that you are the one that opens those doors and that no one can shut them. And so we just say yes to that right now in Jesus' name for Lillian. Amen. Um, if any of you, this is your first time with us, we want to welcome you. Um, my name is Micah Williams, and my husband Ben and I are the pastors here. And um, we have a personalized art piece for all of you, if it's your first time here. Um, as you head out today, we'd love to present that to you. And just thank you for coming. Welcome you. Um, if you didn't get one of these, if you want to raise your hand and someone can get that to you. Um, this is just a, a brochure about what next steps you can take here at Convergence. We have a lot of good things going on, and we'd love to see you um, joining in with that. Um, our kids are so precious, and that's just a really great place to get plugged in especially, but there's other areas as well. So you can take a look at that. Um, and just that, that phrase that I kept hearing in worship, I really just want to encourage you um, that what stays, what happens here doesn't have to stay here. Like during the week, you have six whole days aside from Sunday that God wants to invade in a good way, in a good way, okay. <laughs> he wants to invade. And so I just encourage you, um, just avail yourself to some of the resources that are there for you. If you're not sure, come and talk to one of us and we'll help you out. Um, but there's really, really good things that you can use to feed um, your spirit with during the week, like the Bible. It's really great. So during the week, it's so awesome just to pull out, if it's like a new thing for you, the Psalms are really, really deep, and they're really expressive, and so it might connect with you if that's what you feel like is inside of you. You need an expression of what your heart is saying and how to express that to the Lord. John is a really good book about learning about Jesus and what he did and why he did it, and just it's a good way to just fall in love with him. And then from there, there's a lot of great books. There's 66 of them, and they're really great. But the Bible itself is good, and asking God just to speak to you through it is even better. Like, not just, um, I grew up reading, a ch like, a bunch of chapters a day as, like, a requirement. <laughs> and so I would check off my list of, I read the Bible, check. But having Holy Spirit, having God speak into that with you, and while you're reading it, making it come alive is even better. So I just encourage you with that. Um, and then uh, this morning, we are going to continue with some more singing and more worship at the end of the service. So at 1130, um, we'll make an official close, like um, dismissal, and then um, we'll get to do some more worship together. So that'll be fun. And today for our sermon, um, for the message that we have today, we're doing a Q&A. We're doing question and answer time. 
It's the first time we've ever done it, so you get to be here while we are doing that together. So it's going to be a really fun time to get to know um, the church a little better, get to know some of the people that are on staff and leadership. It's going to be a good time. Um, Just really quick, I have a couple other things. Um, I want to hear testimonies. And a testimony is just, it's not like when you go to court and you testify about something that happened, but it's about what has been happening in you, either from what God has done or what someone else has allowed God to do in your life. So if you're getting healed, if you're um, seeing changes in your life about what you're thinking about or what you're believing, we want to know about that. Um, In the Bible it says that the testimony of Jesus, like talking about what he has done, is the spirit of prophecy. And prophecy Prophecy we take to mean is something that's going to happen. And so we just see that to mean that when we talk about what Jesus has done, it's an invitation for it to happen again. And so when, we, when you hear someone say, I was healed this morning or um, this week I just had sadness just lift off of me, if you're listening to that, that's an invitation for it to happen in your life or to happen through you for someone else. Isn't that exciting? I love that. It's not just like we get, have distance between whoever's up here and whoever's sitting there. That There's no distance. We're all in this together. Again, God is not compartmentalized. He's not just saying, well, it's for them but not for you. It's for all of us. And so as you hear those testimonies, you get to take a hold of it and say yes. Um, so we want to hear that. So if you have testimonies, let us know. We want to celebrate that with you. And in the same token, if there's something in your life that you need prayer for, um, we want to agree with you, and we want to just see God's um, best released in your life. So we have um, a prayer shield, which is um, managing that and is keeping that in front of us so we can keep praying for you. Um, The first place that you can present um, any of those needs to us is on this card right here, if you want to take that out. This is a connection card so we can stay connected with you. If this is your first or second time, please fill out the front in its entirety so that we can um, get connected with you and and send you some gifts. We have some gifts for you, Um, so please fill that out. If this is your third time, your family. So you just get to check off family and write your name, and you're done. You can flip it over. So that's um, what we'd like you to do. And then on the back, um, this is where we want to know your testimonies. We want to know what are the good things that God's been doing. And if there's anything that we can pray for you about or for uh, family or friends in your life. So please fill that out here. If there's anything that you um, want more information about, how you can help out at Convergence and how you can go further, take any next steps, those are on here as well. So if you want to fill that out and then later in the service we'll collect those. Yay. Um, We're doing a photo competition. Isn't that fun? So we're asking people just to take pictures of things going on at Convergence, and then next week will be the deadline to turn those in, and we're just going to select whatever um, we think is the best representation of Convergence Center and use that on our website and some of our materials, um, advertising things, and then the winner gets $50, so it's a good motivation, right? Yeah? So um, if you want to take some pictures of what's going on here at Convergence, and um, where do they send those? To Alex, is it alex.white at convergencepa.com? And um, we can get that, uh, get those in so we can see those pictures representing convergence. And um, when you fill out your card, if you put your email address on here, then we'll be able to send you out our. Um, like an e-bulletin that comes out on Wednesdays, and so you can kind of stay, keep in touch with what's going on at Convergence and see what's going on. I think I did everything. Is that it? Okay. All right. So um, let's welcome Pastor Ben as we go into our next thing. Yay. Good morning, everybody. I want to invite our staff to please come up on stage. <laughs> 